Hey everybody, Andre here, and I have another exciting update with my Slim UI Solutions Modern Menu Design that I'm working on. And uh, I have a video on this already. I sort of went through each element that I had in this design, and I explained to you how it all works and what I'm planning on doing with it in the final package slash product. And uh, here's an update that I want to give you to show you where it is so far and uh, where it's going to mostly end up when it's ready for you guys uh, on the asset store. Now it's almost done, but I want to show you what I have so far with this latest update and you guys can give feedback on what you think works, what you think doesn't work, and if there's any other small features that you would like to see. So the first thing that you're probably going to notice is that there is a splash screen. Now this is kind of cool because it just has a logo spot that you can replace out with any of your logos that you want. There is a slight shadow behind it. So it can, uh, if you're using a white logo, it still stands out a little bit more. And that's sort of a trick that I use a lot throughout this. Whenever you have white on a lighter background, you want to make sure that there's at least this hint of a shadow that you might not even be able to tell is there. Uh, so that you can sort of fake having white on white instead of white on this lighter color that sort of makes it blend into the background. You know, that's also how Essence stands out of it too. So you can see it because there's this shadow behind it. Now I did embed some of the shadow into the actual Photoshop logo here, but there is also a little one behind it that you can use. Or I might take it out in the end, who knows, we'll see. Now press any key to continue and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to click and it transitions into the main screen. And now there's this welcome screen option that you can also enable or disable depending on what you want to have for your own game. So thank you for choosing the package. You are awesome. This part's true. Everything else is just yada yada, uh, basically an introduction into the package. So pretty cool. You can use this if you want. You can customize these things how you want, uh, whether or not you want the positions to be the same or if you want to change. I guess the scale of these texts, very, very easy to customize it. And because I have separate animations that are handling all of these windows, at least if they're a different category, you can just adjust the Unity animation yourself and, and you should be fine. So as long as you have a basic understanding of Unity's animator and their animation keyframing, you can customize this a lot more. So I'm going to press accept. And there we go. And now we're in the main window. And as you can see, I changed all the destiny images out with these royalty free landscape images. So it gives this a lot more polished look and feel. I still have the two tabs at the top, but now there is actually a settings menu. So now we got the visuals, we have gameplay and we have audio. Now gameplay, the menu actually starts scrolled down because I was messing with it earlier, but we do have the ability to uh, enable and disable some of these options. Now it doesn't actually work. It's not really programmed. So you guys will probably end up just having to do that yourself because again, this is more of a UI integration and less of actual programming, unlike some of my other packages, but I might in a future update go in and actually set this up. So it's kind of cool. You can, you can change the key bindings. There you go. And you can change it to whatever you want, or you can just uh, cancel uh, because you didn't mean to change. So we go into gameplay. Oh, that is gameplay. Go into visuals. We have these drop down menus for the settings of your project. Shadow quality, shadow cascades. All these are basically the standard Unity graphic settings that they have available for you. So nothing crazy there, but it has this nice little visual interface with these buttons that are a consistent style throughout the whole package. Now you can see when I press on the on the settings menu, this icon has a different animation that switches from the gear to the minus. And it's the same for quitting. When you want to quit, it changes to the minus and you have a little check mark that you can press if you want to quit the game. But nothing happens right now. It just closes the window, but the actual project would close. Now in new story, it's still the same, but now the images are different. So it feels a lot better. So you got these colored bars at the top instead of just the different color panels. So a lot cleaner you Can go back here in continue is still the same, but I want to show you the new loading screen. There we go. So this is the new loading screen. 
So what's different is that you can change the loading icon again, as you could before, but now there's a background image with this bar at the top that you can reposition, but also it has a cycling tips uh, function. So you can change these tips to whatever you want and you can add as many as you want and they randomly cycle through depending on the speed that you set. So I let you control that however you want and you can change the loading text in the bottom right if you want it to say something else. Now, I am in uh, the continue mode, which means it's gonna be continued to whatever my last load save was, but I'm gonna press the other ones. I'm gonna show you what it actually says. Okay, so I jump back into the menu and in new story, if you press one of these, so let's start a new, a new game. What's basically gonna happen is, and there you go. What happened is it was loading the scene and it's actually loading a test scene. And once it hits 100% loaded, it will change the loading text to press any key to continue. And what happens is it loads my second sample scene, which is going to be replaced by whatever scene that you decide. And it actually does change the text and wait for you to accept the loading once it finishes. So it doesn't just automatically load the scene if you're loading a very, very tiny scene. That gives you a chance to do something fun with the background image and change the tips a little bit more so people can read those in case they really want to. So it's just a lot of different extra options that allow you to customize it depending on how you want. So I removed the map, but I did replace it with this news and announcements tab. And if I press it, this is pretty cool. So we have announcements, we have patch notes and promotions. Now, of course, you can change these to whatever you want. It doesn't actually have to be these, but there are patch notes, there are announcements and there are promotions. That's just what I decided. Of course, this is a fake game, so, you know, it doesn't really do anything. But in the promotions window, this is kind of fun. So it expands it out into this full window, which then has promotions and DLC which the DLC right now is just these three buttons that have the upcoming expansion that is not yet announced, but I don't know, it's whatever you want it to be. And in promotions, you can scroll this window throughout and right now it's just XP boosters, but uh, you know, you can set these to whatever you want. Again, all you have to do is replace the image, change the text and the description and these scale dynamically. So you can change these bars to however tall you want them to be or the the font sizes and it will allow you to do that so very simple but uh, i like the animation that goes back and forth and these other two aren't uh, done yet but they will do the same thing this will go to full screen from the top right this one will go from the top uh, the bottom right and uh, i don't know exactly what i'm going to put in here yet but it's really not important that's just a very very small feature in this design but if you guys do want to see something specific in these windows let me know and i'll throw that in so let's go to the multiplayer tab. And this has been updated a little bit. So the rank at the top now has its own bar and uh, it actually tracks your rank. So right now this is just a script that I have to automatically give you experience, just like an experience counter, just like my other character creator video that I recently posted. And this rank will just keep going up and basically skill points as you're playing the game, you can, you can throw them up there if you want to as well. And perhaps you can use those to determine you know, what your rank will actually be, uh, but that's, that's completely up to you. The regions still have their same settings. It changes, it changes it at the bottom of the screen. And uh, when you play with friends, this has been updated as well now. So now it tells you, you know, waiting for all players to be ready. Now you can ready up and you can find a match. So that is more like an actual multiplayer game when you're trying to find a match and you can still switch between the menus of uh, all the players online and that are online. Uh, little placement's a little off, but I'm gonna be fixing that and make this a scrollable window still. So very, very small feature, but that's gonna be there. And yeah, so this is updated and it feels a lot more, pun intended, ready. So we're gonna back up here. Now, when you're finding a random world or a wasteland game, this is going to load the same loading menu but it will change the text at the bottom for uh, what it's actually loading. So check this out. There you go. So it's searching for Wasteland. And now I don't know if this is the same loading symbol that you saw last time, but this is one of four. 
I believe there was the the X crossing with the circular animation um, in the original video, but this is one of the four. So there's two that you've seen so far, and there are there are two others that are uh, pretty simple, but they're nice to look at and they show you that the game's actually loading and hasn't frozen, which is important. But we're gonna leave it there, guys. So thank you so much for watching this quick update. I know it's not a long video, but I hope you enjoyed what you're seeing. Again, this is all Unity 3D, so I hope you're getting inspired by this. And if you have any ideas on what you want me to throw in here that you think would be useful, let me know and I will uh, try to implement it as best as I can. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like my content because I post a lot more of this stuff and a lot of my own games that I'm making in Unity and just over the years. And it's a lot of fun to see me make fun of myself on how terrible my old games are. But you guys seem to enjoy it, so that's fine. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you actually get notified of when I post things because, yeah, if you want to actually see my videos, make sure you're getting notified of them. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Oh,